Hey guys, how's it going? It's Paul here. I'm just gonna do a quick... I want to show off this uh, Steam broadcasting thing, the new thing they're working on here. So, the first thing... I've been using this for a little bit today, and I think it's kind of cool, but uh, there are a few hiccups I've been having, and I'll get into those in a second. First thing you're gonna want to do, though, if you're planning on doing anything with this, is... You go to your Steam settings here. Make sure that under beta participation, you are part of that. So you would go to change and select all of that sort of stuff, as you can see. For this, you're going to want Steam beta update. I'm already part of it, so that's fine. When you do that, you will get this event with a new update to your Steam. So these are the different settings you can have. When The way this works is that when you are playing a game, people will have the option to watch you. You will basically always be able to broadcast anything. This is the privacy setting that chooses who you allow. So you can invite specific people to watch you play when you're in the mood. Friends can request to watch my games. If you, you are playing something and a friend comes online and they say watch... You will get a pop-up in the corner that says uh, so-and-so is wanting to watch or sent you a request to watch your game, to which you would just open the Steam overlay, go OK, allow, basically, and then they would come in. Friends can watch my games. They can just jump in. They don't. You don't need to allow them, nothing like that. They are just in. You're good. You keep playing. They can start chatting, all that sort of stuff. Anyone can watch my games. Uh, if you're part of a group, if people know the URL to your profile, that whole sort of thing, anybody can jump in and watch. So right now I have it to friends can uh, request. I'm going to change this to friends can watch my games because if they're on my friends list, then I it must mean I trust them. These are your different resolution types. I'm just going to stick with 720 because there's some games I play in 720 just so they run at a full thing with my hardware you can change it to 1080 if you want it doesn't really matter maximum bit rate this is the maximum bit rate for upload so you're going to want to keep this if you're streaming at uh different dimensions here it'll you'll want to keep it higher i found that the 2500 is probably good i can get away with 3000 from this list i could probably get away with the top but there's no point so 3,000 is more than enough for 720p. Show viewers chat in game. You can turn that off so you can't see what they're saying. I found that the top left is the default is fine. It's just up here. You'll see like little, ch not a chat window, but you'll see just text overlaid on top of your game for who's in the chat. Then you have record my desktop when not in game. This is when you close a game. If you want to keep streaming because you're going to switch games or something, you would keep this clicked and it'll show your desktop. Beware of this, though, because if you forget and you're like, okay, I'm done streaming or whatever, you close out of the game, you will still be live, as far as I can tell, and people will get to see all the porn you're watching, so watch out for that. Record and broadcast my microphone. It's pretty self-explanatory. If you don't have this clicked, they will not be able to hear from your microphone. This is a good thing to have off, in my opinion, because there's a lot of... Like, since I'm leaving this as friends can watch my games, I'll probably just be playing games sometimes, and I don't want people to just be able to hear the conversations I'm having with my girlfriend or, like, somebody that's over or anything like that. And being who I... Being me i like to show the upload stats in the top corner it, i like to see what the bit rate is and how many like how fast it's going and that whole sort of thing so i keep that on that's totally up to you but anyways that is that so i will show you how you watch a friend now i have some friends playing right now by name of isaac so we are going to go ahead and just pick the first one here when you bring up this window you will see a new option under view game hub there is watch game you simply click it brings up the steam browser and now see he has his set so that you have to request to watch him so this is what it shows for me because i'm requesting he accepted 
and now it brings up this. So there's his gameplay right there. This is the chat box for us, and I get to say, hey there. I am doing a quick video on this broadcasting thing. Lulz. Then we see how I saw his cursor pop up. So when they want to chat, they don't get a nice little window like this. You have to open the overlay, which I'll show you. Open the chat box and then type in there. That's why he's taking a second here. From what I could tell, the delay is pretty close. It's maybe like three to five or six seconds, which is pretty good. The reason I know this is because I was trying it out with uh, s someone on Skype and I could hear myself. No, they could hear themselves, sorry, because they were on Skype with me and they could hear themselves through the stream as well. And it was pro like right after they would say a sentence, the sentence would start. So it's very, very close to real time, which is good. Uh, other stuff you can do here, you can actually view more broadcast store, obviously, because Steam is a storefront, and violations, because they're all like this. Since this is in beta, they ask for feedback and this whole sort of thing. But, yep, yeah, that's how that's brought up. This window is responsive to how big it is, so you can shrink it down all the way that you can here, and everything shrinks with it, but it's this up you can make it full screen to get a more full experience if you want you can make the game itself full screen like with any other streaming program as you can see here you can take this out completely open it back up and you can see the viewer list and then the emotes and stuff like that I'm gonna send him mr. Foster here so that's how that works I'm going to show you what it's like in-game now, though. Isaac and his mother lived alone in a small house on a hill. I gotta open Isaac this. kept to himself, drawing pictures and playing with his toys as his mom watched Christian. Okay, so I have mine open. Anybody can jump in at any time. We're just going to grab... A quick game here and now when you open this up when you start broadcasting you will get a window here that gives you broadcasting options so I'm going to get one of these guys Okay, so mine's open. If I if it wasn't where you would usually get the little, uh, you can see my cursor now back down in this corner here. You would usually get the request, not request, but like friend requests and the little achievement pop-ups and that whole sort of thing. That is uh, the same type of thing that would pop up. I'm just waiting to see here when he comes in. Well, while he does that, I'm just going to quickly just play, I guess, here. So, this is where things change. Uh, I'll have to show it in a second here. Actually, whatever. So, now if you see, in the top right corner here, in fact, I'll blow it up a little bit. Uh, first of all, I have to accept. So, I'm. it didn't take my setting change. I'm going to approve him. In the top right corner is where it has, yeah. I'm just trying to grab a screen region where it has the stats. Uh, that's the wrong screen region here. For some reason it went through my thing here. 
it has these. These are the stats I was talking about earlier. So how many people are watching, it shows that you're live. In the other corner, you have where your chat window usually is. He did say something, and you probably saw it a second ago, but I'm just going to quickly get him to type something. So when chat happens, it goes up in the top corner just like so, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just going to show you in here, let's remove these regions you don't need to see anymore. There is this broadcast area now. So I will go ahead and show you that a bit bigger. So watch open chat settings stop settings is obvious those settings i showed you earlier clicking that will open them up stop will stop your broadcast watch will bring up just uh your own stream in a window like we were watching spart earlier and open chat is the way you can open up the ch let me remove this it opens up this chat window which is how you communicate through the in-game chat so that's how you do all that. It's a little cumbersome when you're trying to chat with people in uh, in here because you have to open up the overlay, click in there or whatever, type, blah, blah, blah. This is where you would just want to maybe go to your settings, open up your stream settings just like so and then go, now we're gonna record and broadcast with my microphone as such and blah, blah, blah. So yeah, that is the Steam broadcasting thing. I think it's kind of cool. It's not gonna really compete with Twitch because it's a little cumbersome to get people watching and it's been a little glitchy lately, but it's in beta. So if you have any questions, go ahead and ask them and maybe I can help you out. If not, I hope you enjoy doing this, I guess. Hanging out with your friends, playing games, and watching them play at the same time. If you're a friend of mine, you should probably get in the beta so I can watch you. See you guys next time.